Hi, I'm Matt with the trailer and today we're going to be talking about the Kuwa NV 2.0 bike rack on the back of our 2022 Nissan Rogue. Now this is going to be a great premium option for you that's going to be able to hold a variety of different types of bikes. So let's take a closer look at it. We're going to have a weight capacity of up to 60 pounds per bike. So it's even going to be able to accommodate your heavy e-bikes. And you're still going to have a really good tilt feature with that. As you can see right here, this is going to give us plenty of space to open up our hatch. That's going to be great if you have any items that you need to throw back here. Maybe you're going grocery shopping or you still need to grab any of your bike gear to go hit the road. But after when you've grabbed everything you need, you can close your hatch back up and lift this back into place. Now I will say it's a pretty easy lift. Now I just have a standard bike on today, but if you have a really heavy e-bike that might change. So if you want to take a closer look at it, I'm going to have to take off my bike. I like to start with this rear strap and remove it. What's really nice about this system is we're not making any frame contact. So it's going to be great for your alternative or carbon frame bikes. I'm just going to move this front ratcheting hook out of my way, lift up on my bike, pull it towards me and then hit the road. We can take a closer look at some other features of this rack too. So if we look at the cradle, that's going to be able to accommodate your skinny, standard, and even 5-inch fat tires. Make sure you put these hooks back into place because you don't be driving with them on the road. And what's really nice about it is this strap on the back. This has the ability to go up and down on our tray to accommodate different wheel bases. And right next to that, we're going to have this integrated bike cable lock. That's really nice that's integrated so you don't lose it. And it's going to be another security feature so no one can take off your bikes. Next up, let's talk about how this is going to sit back here. So if I go from the bumper to the back of the carrier, that's going to be a little bit over 29 inches, which isn't too bad. It's just something to think about if you're in a tight spot, like a parking spot or a garage. And for the ground clearance, that's going to be a little bit under 19 inches, which is pretty decent, especially for the Rogue. I just definitely keep an eye on it if you do have this fully loaded up and if you're going up a steep hill. If you want to save space, you can fold this up using that same lever we used to tilt it away. So it clicks into place. And now from our bumper to the back of the carrier, that's going to be a little bit under 12 inches. So that's going to save you a lot of space. Now how it's going to sit back here, it actually sits back here pretty good. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. We're not going to block our license plates. You might see a little bit out of your backup camera. If you're worried about that, I just recommend using your mirrors. But I really, the only thing that you might catch is this bike repair stand. But your taillights and back window won't be obstructed. And for how it's going to install, it's just going to go into a two inch hitch receiver. Just make sure you have one of those or it's not going to be compatible. And then we're going to have this pin that goes through and connects to a lock core. And that lock core is going to use the same key system as integrated bike cable locks. And lastly, we're going to have this anti-rattle knob here. What I really like about that is it's tool free. So it's just really easy to use just by turning it. Almost forgot. One of the most important features about this rack is our bike repair stand. Really easy to use. As you can see, only takes a few steps to get this ready to put your bikes on. And then you can do whatever repairs you need. Overall, I think this is going to be a pretty good system for you. If you're looking for something to haul a variety of different types of bikes, or you find yourself constantly making repairs when you're on the road. Now, if you're looking for something maybe not as premium, then I'd recommend the Rocky Mounts monorail. A lot of similar features, they're just not going to be as premium and easy to use. Or if you like this one, you just don't need that bike repair stand, then I'd recommend the Kua NV 2.0 base bike rack. But if you liked everything you saw today, that's just a look at the NV 2.0 bike rack on the back of our 2022 Nissan Rogue. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. 
Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway.